Hey trainers, Poke Dad here along with TK421. KK Shiv128. And tonight on episode 10, Path to Nashville World Championship, we've got once again Caden playing as Requaza, and I'm playing Zark Garbador. And I'm trying out the new Tapalele tech that uh, one of the viewers made a dis uh, suggestion about. It's going to. Uh, I think it's 20 times the number of energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. So if Rayquaza has 3 energy, it's going to do 20, 40, 60. Choice Band 90 hits the 180 for a one-shot. For just uh, one fairy. This deck does run Rainbow, so that shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> and also, uh, with Garbodor, it's going to uh, put a lot of pressure because Caden's dumping a lot of items in the discard, so it should be a tough matchup, don't you think? Yeah, I do think it would be. So. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. Uh, we'll go first. We have one more matchup for the Rayquaza deck after this one. We have uh, Zoropod. Bridget. Trubbish. Zerua. Zerua. Like I said, we have uh, Zoropod versus Rayquaza. And in that, I'll be playing, I'll be trying a Dedene tech. So, there's three different texts that you could do for Rayquaza, Dedene, Tapulele, and Sylveon. So right now we're just kind of testing which tech is most ideal for each deck. Kind of get a feel for that. And after the Zoropod matchup, a little city. I'll attach rainbow. Yeah. I'll actually ultra ball. Another Trubbish. There we go. Another Trubbish down. And then I'll pass. Drop a turn. Yeah. Anywho, like I was saying, we're going to uh, test Zoropod against Rayquaza. And then after that, we'll give uh, the deck profile of Rayquaza that we've been using. And we'll kind of give our thoughts and go over like the matchups, that sort of stuff. And then after that, we'll do a video on our meta forecast for the U.S. Intercontinental that happens not this weekend, but next weekend. I grab audience. And from there, what deck do you want to start? The Metagross? Yeah. You want to start taking a look at Metagross versus all the matchups? Yeah, I think Metagross can be... Doing super well against these Zorak decks. And I think that's going to be pretty good. And with the hot techs of the Psychic, the Fairy Pokemon, they're weak to metal too. So. That's kind of on our schedule here. Zoropod, deck profile, plus uh, matchup analysis. Then, meta forecast for nationals, intercontinental, and then we'll dive into Metagross should be starting next Monday. Yep. Next Monday we'll be doing Metagross matchups. Kind of where we're at with Rayquaza. Uh, we can kind of go down the list. I'll just name off a deck. You say 
you know, how you feel about it. Buzzwall, Lycanroc? I think it has a pretty good matchup against it. Malamar decks? Uh, I mean, the one price attackers would be a little bit in its way, but I still think it's a pretty good matchup. Then, uh... We have... What else do we have? Oh, Buzzwall Garbador. You think it's in its favor? Mm -hmm. The Rayquaza. I... I don't you, de you destroyed it. Which one was it? Buzzwall Garbador. Oh, yeah. Uh, Garbador could hurt the Trash Lanch one. But are they using the Trash Lanch? Um, I think I played, there was a Schultz's list that ran Rainbow as well as Strong's and a couple DCE. We didn't try the, uh, like sh the Shemansky one that played, uh, Evolved to Trash. Second one, that played like order pads and stuff. We hadn't tried that. Well, Zork. I think the Trash Lanch one would be the most effective. If there is one. It's just less consistent than like the order pad stuff. How many are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. You have six in there. I want to help it. Trade. Attach. Float stone. I'll do one twenty. Field cards in hand. Five. Thank you. Okay, and then uh, we have Espion Garb against Requaza. Pretty even, you think? Or slightly favored Requaza? I think it's. Or it's even. I think it's even. Yeah. And then, uh, Paw Patrol. Mm, I don't think that's a good matchup. Okay, and then we don't know about this or Zoropod. <clears throat> if we're missing a deck that, uh, that's that we think is going to be highly played for Worlds, or could be highly played for Worlds, then by all means, leave in the comments, let us know. Because, like I said, this is all about getting Caden and everyone else ready for Worlds, so if we're missing something, we need to know. We have found out that Dragonstorm will not be legal till September. And so we are going to pull the Macargo and the Kingdras. We're going to pull all those decks and those cards from testing. Since we're just focusing on worlds. Is there another GX gun? So. I'm going to use this GX attack. Discard your hand, draw 10. I'll draw for turn. Eva Soda. GX. Tap. Trade.
It's right here, folks. I'm debating. I want to end him since he has 10 cards. But I'm also considering Mallow to grab another Trash Lanch and an Energy since I'm already holding Lele. I don't need the Mew for this matchup. But I'd like to draw into N. I think I think the safe play is I don't know. I don't know what the correct play is. If I discard the Mew to try to draw into N or You already did one trade, right? Yeah. Mm. So I, I, I guess Mallow Mallow, yeah. There's the the end would have been on the bottom, so okay. And I would have drawn, well, I would have drawn Lele, so I could have got the uh, the end. Oh well. It is what it is. I think Mallow was the right play. And if you already have the energy, then probably like Garbage or Choice Band. You only have an eight. Try to get rid of the Mew. Lele with the rainbow. And then I'll do trash lanch. Draw. Fighting tree belt. How many items you got? Eight. Eight. So we're at six. Eight. I can't grab that. Cross it. So he has a tough decision. Does he deal with trash or does he go after the Lele? I think this is a really hard matchup. Mm -hmm. With Trash Lanch and the Lele. Hit. Attach. Max Elixir. Hit. One of our viewers uh, suggested Rayquaza and Garbodor. Set up your quasas, then you play Garbodor down. But my my mm -hmm. problem with that is Fibbler. all the resources you're having to throw away. It's kind of why I don't like Vikavolt. Sorry, or tree, or Sycamore. Okay, so he's not going for Lele, folks. Mega whiff. Stretcher, get back with Quasa. Quasa. Hit. Max Elixir.
Yeah, what do you think about Viking Vault? You're dumping out rare candies, yeah. dumping out Viking Vaults. Um, so you'd have to play a bunch of rescue stretchers. I, I think the strength of this deck is you can build the consistency with uh, four of each card. Four Rayquaza, four Fighting Fury Bell. Three. And, and so on. That way you don't kill off your resources. Draw. I was hoping to get Tapu Koko GX right there. That's then use its ability and then I don't have weakness anymore. Trade. Trade. Attach. Ultra Ball. Fail. I'll play Cynthia. That Ultra Ball was to thin the deck, because I already have a puzzle in the discard. And then it was to make sure I have Choice Band or Fill Blower. You need both. In deck, and they're not prized. So that's kind of what that was. Should have. I've already used my two trades. One field blower. Yeah, I got one field blower, and I've got two choice bands in deck. Yep. Blower the two fighting fury belts. Choice band. Oh, you got lucky. Float stone for garbotoxin. And then Psyway for 20, 40, 60, 90 times 2, 180. Start was too slow. Drop a turn. Attach. And then it's attack for a knockout. Items in the discard, please. Uh, enough to knock out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Rescue stretcher for the trash lanch. Yeah. And then rainbow. People mentioned uh, wish, wishful baton in the deck. 
but I think fighting Fury Belt's more important. And getting energies into play isn't really ever an issue, is it? No, you can pretty much get plenty of them. It's early game getting energies is the hardest part. That's where, in like expanded, you, when you have the shaman and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you can just really explode. Especially if you run it with like a sky field instead of devoured field. Yeah. Nice. All right. Game two. Okay. This is better. Coach ball. I'll just check your prism. Really? Yeah. It's active. Right. Check it. Good deal. It, it looks All good. All right. Grab a quasi and go back in. No, just, I think it's important on your first search before you start going crazy with Rayquazas to uh, pull out the prism because he's got such uh, amazing acceleration that you don't want to discard him by accident with Rayquaza's ability. And then you can't get it back. So I think it's important to grab him out with your first search rather than going straight for the Rayquaza. Agreeing with that? Yeah. Max Elixir. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I don't really like the acrobikes in it, too. Some people are playing acrobike in it. What do you think about that? I, I think that's just more for trash lanch. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I can definitely see Sigma. the it helping the acceleration for sure, and dumping the energy so you can get back with Prism. So I mean, it has a lot of good synergy with it. The Acrobite does. Maybe once we get deeper into the testing, that's when we start uh, tweaking. And figuring out what kind of text we want. Touch return. Max then we can uh, see how the acrobikes do. It. So, Caden with a perfect start. Five energies. That's counting the attach for turn. So, equivalent to hitting four max elixirs and the attach for turn. So, pretty broken, pretty busted. And pass. Finally. We'll get down another trub. Oh, Bridget. Need. I'm gonna need a lot of resources in this matchup since he's uh has such a great start. I'm just gonna grab those two for now. Are you gonna lay away? I just bridge it. Do you have, yeah? But do you have Lele for next turn? Is that why you're only grabbing two? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe I want to put down Fairy Lele with energy Ooh. for next turn. Going for my Latios. And I'll pass. Drop turn. Devoured field. Energy. Cynthia.
40. Trade. Eva Sutter. Trash Lynch. Ultra Ball. Tag second one. Tap. Second one. Attach. Trade. Carbo toxin. Oh, crap, I'm tired of feeling. It hurts. Alright, it's speeding for 130. <clears throat> sure. Drop turn. Dirty treasure. That's six. That's uh, seven. And then two twenty. Phil Blower there, there. Well played. Trade.
seven. You'd be ten short. Right, so there's no point in doing that. Wonder tag. A uh, wonder tag for M. You can play it. I already played. Uh, you did. Did I already play something? No. Make cards you got in here. Six. Hang on, let me look. Let me look. Stone Garbador and then in. Then trash lunch. Draw. Uh, what the fuck? Gotta blur those two. No. Max elixir. Let me go back in. Ugh. Rescue stretcher. Get back one. Lay lay. Wonder tag for Sigmar. Attach for turn and Sycamore. How many you got items in the discard now? Nine? Quanza, and then his attack. Two seventy. Three lilies. Trade. Cards in hand. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten. Drop time. Touch. All right, Coco of Energy and Cynthia. Huh? I thought you would have got back a Guzma so you can snipe. What Guzma? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's right. uh, four left. Okay. And then I'm going to retreat. And then requires this attack. Why well, was that game so different than the last? Uh, Your start? Yeah, I had a really explosive start where everything you put up was going to get knocked out. And the other game, I didn't have a good response to Garbador whenever you got it online. Really quick. Well, you stand just outside of one shot range, even with a choice band on it. I think was the uh, game changer. Yep. I did keep count of my items then. I knew that you would have been short, even with choice. I think that was the different difference. Because once, uh, I think what really hurt is you being able to, you killed the trash. No, you killed the Zorark, right? You killed the Zorark. And then I couldn't respond with a trash lanch knockout. Because he had no more trebuchets on the bench. Yeah. Well, it was Garbador. So I'm not sure Garbador is the way to go against Rayquaza. Maybe let him use the ability to discard more items. Might be the way I go. I wasn't going to discard anything. No, I but I'm just saying that maybe... That would be a better route. Honestly, the so. Garbo toxin really isn't even hurting. I know, so 
it hurt that one round where I had to field lower and then rescue stretcher. So, so maybe rather than focus on the garbotoxin, maybe I just let him use the ability to discard uh, items and stuff. You're going first. I guess I like the Lele in this deck better than like Espeon. Espeon's not running. Or no, uh, 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 Sylveon EX. I like the Lele in this better than the Sylveon. I think. Because I'm running Rainbow. Yep, I think that what makes it better. If I could have got the Sylveon with two energy and then moved all that damage around, I probably would have got like double puzzle. Oh. Oh, yeah. Swap around. I've been, that could have been pretty good. It would have at least taken a lot of energy off the board. Which energies? You gonna grab Laylight or Bridget? Uh oh. I'll give him my deck. Cheater. Grab my deck. I wasn't done searching. Is that why you shuffled and then No. Gave me the option to right. cut with that? Well you didn't give me a chance to grab Laylight and Bridget. Why would you shuffle? You were trying to take it out of my hand. It's your responsibility to make sure I don't misplay. Like I did the other night when I attached Fighting to Rock Rough and then DC to something else, and then I play Mallow and then I play Kakui all in the same turn. And you dropped the ball in that one, pass. Where, where are the price card penalties? Those only apply if you're I see your shusher. I see your under shusher. 40. When When you're 40 or older, those penalties don't apply. Not yes. Did you know that? You get a free pass when you're old. You're 40? I thought you were still in your 30s. Uh -huh. But barely. Very barely. Oh. Causes ability. Yeah, dump those items. We got ability. three. Four. Ah, with. How many items we got? Four or five? Five. Nice. I'll stay there. Keep them coming, TK421. Sycamore. The merrier. Attach. No energy in the discard pile. He opts to not let Lele take a hit. Third. 
Trash. Zork. Choice fan. Cindy. Going first makes a huge uh, difference. Oh. And my dice alone. Cheap. Better. It's not see Trade. Eva Soto. Trash Lance for a hundred. Max Elixir. Shoot. Duck. Oh, I win. Still in my stuff. How many cards are in your hand? Uh, don't you worry about how many cards I have in my hand. Right now I have zero in my hand. See that, folks? You just grab my cards. You're the one who did double attachment and double supporter in that the was same. That several games ago. Last game, several games. No. Yeah, what? Well, yes, it was. I grabbed my cards. Like I said, I had zero cards in hand because I wasn't holding them. You were messing with those cards. Six more. How many more items you got in this card? I discarded zero from that. Right. We need a couple more. Like two more. I can just get a fill blower. Touch. That'd help out too. Uh, 30. Close stone. Touch. In. Can't chill with the ends. City. Trash. 
trade. Trade. Trash Lynch. Cynthia. You got how many? Six. Six. Keep it at six when you find it. Attack for a knockout. Trade. Trade. Fill blower. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, fill blower the float stone off of that. Leave the float stone on that requisite. So the fighting fury belt, and then leave the float stone on the requisite. Yep. That looks good. All right. I'm trying to hide it. Back trash. Well, to count those items. Where'd your float stone go on your requisite? <laughs> what? I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> what float stone? Hang on. Oh, you got another field bar? There's someone there. I didn't take it at that. That's one sixteen. Shoot. The lower. No, actually get back. 
rescue stretcher. Those two. Let me check that just right here. Fill of the floatstone. What? Where? Uh huh. That plus <laughs> we're at nine. One eighty. Catch. A lady. For turn. Trash lunch. The one eighty. Turn. Okay. So numbers don't matter. Third blur. Requaza. Attach return. What you got? You got an order? Mysterious huh? treasure. Lele. Cynthia's playing Cynthia. Oh, the ten knockout. Twelve. Thirteen. Good tap. Take that as a ten. Devoured field. <clears throat> Stretcher, get back one. Requaza, put it down. Touch grass. Pad those two. Uh, his attack for knockout. Ultra ball. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got two rainbows left in deck. Mm-hmm. 
Lele Wonder Tag. What was the point of shuffling? I'm not thin. I just had one thin. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we will only be two cards left. Are you traded more. yet? Yeah, I've already used two trades cool. to try to draw into it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna switch those two. Sycamore. Trash Lynch. I don't have a way to deal with him. <clears throat> Phil Blower and Rainbow. Okay, so. It's still good. You think this matchup depends on who goes first? Yeah, that made a really big difference. So you think that's all it is? Is who yeah. goes first? Yeah. Okay. So, so you thinking 50-50 based on who goes first? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh... You didn't really use Tapu Lele that much. I think I like trash, but... I mean, once you have the right number of items, then it's trash lance all the way. Because, I mean, it's just rainbow and you're knocking out, whereas Lele, you need the choice band. And Phil Blower if they have to find pure belt, so. But, uh, Zark Garbador is still looking good. Yeah. And, really, just these past two matchups where Quaza struggled, huh? Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't even say struggled on them either. Because you won one game in each. Yeah. So it's not like you're getting blown away. No. Not at all. The matchup's still really close. So. But uh, that's what we got for tonight. Tomorrow night we'll uh, Zoropod Rayquaza. So, till then, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes.